Priscilla Presley is devastated by the gruesome facts laid bare in her late daughter Lisa Marie's memoir and sources said her doomed child's horror stories, including being sexually abused by her mom's beau, are filling her with guilt. This is incredibly painful for Lisa Marie's family, especially her mother, an insider told News.com. They added, Priscilla's perhaps taking it worse than anyone. Lisa Marie died at 54 in 2023 from a bowel obstruction related to a previous bariatric surgery before she could finish her book, From Here to the Great Unknown, which was completed by her 35-year-old actress daughter, Riley Kyo. It's been reported Priscilla, 79, and her daughter had a complicated love-hate relationship, and Elvis Presley's only child resented being dragged into Scientology. Now, friends say the Naked Gun Beauty is reliving events of her daughter's life, including the alleged sexual assault of preteen Lisa Marie by Priscilla's then-boyfriend Michael Edwards. Lisa Marie claimed the mommy dearest actor first molested her when she was 10. He said he was going to teach me what was going to happen when I got older, Lisa Marie wrote. He was putting his hand on my chest and saying a man's going to touch here, there, he put his hand between my legs, and he said they're going to touch you here. When she told her mom the next day, she wrote Priscilla flew into her room and slammed the door. Eventually, she called me in and said Edwards wanted to apologize. He said, I'm so sorry, but in Europe, that's how they teach the kids. But Lisa Marie alleged the abuse continued. Eventually it became that he would touch me and spank me, Lisa Marie wrote. I assume he was Jay, off. He wouldn't be mad at me. He did it very calmly, just sitting in a chair, whacking my ass. My butt would be black, blue, orange, green. When Lisa Marie showed her mom the bruises, Priscilla reportedly asked, well, what did you do to cause that? Edwards, 80, has publicly denied the abuse but previously admitted in his 1988 book, Priscilla, Elvis and M, he was craving Lisa sexually. In his memoir, he wrote, soon I found I was looking at my watch, waiting for Lisa's school to let out, just as Elvis had once eagerly awaited Priscilla's return to Graceland from school each day. Edwards later said, I was encouraged to embellish a harmless anecdote about Lisa Marie in my memoir from the 1980s and now regret that I did. Priscilla has not commented on the claims. The insider added, there's nothing Priscilla can do now except grieve for her daughter and pray that she's at peace in heaven alongside Elvis.